Hey everyone, Retro Combs here. I've had a lot of questions after my last Clockwork U console video, wanting to know, quite a few people actually, wanting to know, could I run OBS Studio on the Clockwork U console? This video is for you. We're going to find out, so stay tuned. So to get started, I wiped the slate clean and installed a fresh version of Raspbian OS on the U console. You can find the image file you need over at the Clockwork Pi GitHub repo. I'm using the model with the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4, so I grabbed that specific image file. Etcher made it super easy to flash the image onto the SD card. So I've been tinkering a lot with the Clockwork U console and I just wanted to make sure I had a clean, fresh install so that nothing weird could be happening in the OS that would inhibit OBS Studio's performance. I definitely wanted to make sure there weren't any gremlins in my Raspbian OS install. All right, with Raspbian OS ready to go, it was time to get OBS Studio up and running. And this is where Pi Apps came in and saved the day. Seriously, the App Store is a lifesaver. I tried installing OBS using the App Package Manager, but it didn't work out. Pi Apps, on the other hand, handles all the dependencies and optimizations for you, so OBS just works right out of the box. That's a huge win for content creators and streamers using the U console who may not be familiar with Raspbian OS. Now, one thing to note though is that Pi Apps installs version 27 of OBS Studio, not the most recent version, which as of this filming is version 30. But honestly, it's been working for me so far. Let's see how it performs. I only tried this on two cameras. One was a Logitech Brio, a 4K camera with a lot of smarts inside, and another was just a generic USB camera HD that I picked up during the pandemic. Let's go to the test footage. Okay, let's make some connections here. We've got everything installed. Let's get some power to the device and get a camera connected and a keyboard and trackpad. We could obviously try this using the battery, but I just want to be safe for our first test. Okay, we don't have enough USB ports, so I'm going to get a USB hub. But we're going to try this USB-C, which hopefully I can plug into there, plug in power, and we can charge. Let's test that first. Okay, we are getting power, so that's good. Now let's go ahead and plug this. I want to leave this USB port open for the Brio camera. Don't want to run that through a hub if I don't have to. Now let's see if we can get our keyboard working. It would appear that that USB port is power only. Yeah, the USB is not working. So we're going to go to a powered hub instead over here. So let's go ahead and unplug this. That's disappointing. It says type C, but it's only giving me power right now. All right, let's plug in this powered hub. Kind of a mess of wires here, but that's okay. And let's plug in this to this USB 2.0 port. All right, and you can see we have movement there. That's good. Now we have a working keyboard, trackpad. That'll make things easier than using this for our experiment. Now I'm gonna plug in the camera next. I'll be using a Logitech Brio camera, and we're gonna put it on this tripod. Let's go ahead and set this up. Set it up right here. Unfortunately, it looks like you're gonna be going up my nose. Not preferred, but good enough for our test. We are going to go into OBS. All right, let's see if we can add a device here. Source, we'll call this Brio. And it looks like our Logitech Brio is showing up here. Oof. Well, that's not good. Let's see if we can get something a little bit better than that. That's pretty good. Okay, a little jerk there. You can see that. Um, there you go. Hey, how you doing? Let's go ahead and uh, say OK. And it looks like we're in some weird resolution. Let's see if we can change that resolution. All right, here's our resolution. Let's try 1280 by 720. Click OK. Let's see if we can get a decent view here. We're gonna need some audio, so let's go ahead and add that as well. So let's go up here, let's go to audio capture device, and uh, we'll call this Brio Mic. And that'll be the Logitech Brio USB, okay. Okay, we do have audio, so that's good. Let's see if we are, because I've got a frozen screen right here, which does not bode well for streaming. 
So I'm going to be trying to stream via Wi-Fi from the U console using OBS Studio to YouTube. We'll see if we get any any uh, hits. Uh, this is going to be a little bit like going fishing. I don't know if anybody's going to be out there, but we'll run some tests. We'll take a look at it on both the phone um, live stream here, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Here we go. Let's stream. Okay, well, we do have a live stream going on, but it is frozen and nasty. Let's see if we can clean this up somehow. We're going to change its frame rate to 24 frames per second. Let's go ahead and do an OK. And I am going to exit this. There we go. And close this out. Let's get as many resources free as we can. And let's try and load OBS again. OK, there's 24 frames per second. Uh, there is still some, some scratchy there. Let's go ahead and go live and see if we can get this thing online. Um, I'm really starting to think this Brio camera may be more than I need, but let's let's try it again. Start streaming. There we go. We're back online. I'm hopeful somebody will pop in and let me know how things are going. But the stream the stream is very herky jerky. This is not good at all. Okay, we are live though. We we have made a connection and we're live again. I think now it's just a matter of tweaking this thing down. We're at 720p. We're at 24 frames per second. It says excellent connection, which means seems to me to say it's pushing the data from the U console to YouTube Studio without any problems. But I think this camera is just too much for this. So I'm going to end this live stream and let's try a different camera and see if we get a better result. Okay, we're going to try a different video camera. This is just a it's a genius little webcam. It's a not very expensive. I think it's about 40 bucks. It's a full HD 1080p. So I need to plug this in and make some changes to OBS. Let me get started. So let's check it out now. And that has a much wider field of view, that's for sure. Okay, all right, the mic's working now. You can see it in the meter here. We're gonna go ahead and crank that back a little bit. Look, seems a little bit hot. And uh, we've got video. It's a little hot in the front, but the good news is it doesn't appear to be breaking up. All right, let's connect the software again. Let's connect OBS to YouTube and see if we can stream with these new settings. Here we go. Get those fingers crossed. Okay, we are streaming. Let's see if we have any of my followers out there who might be able to give me a little indication of what this stream is like. Oh, Mr. Landfill's here. Hey, Mr. Landfill. Hey, let me know. Mr. Landfill, this is a test. Mr. Landfill is always one of the first to pop on here. This is a test of me. So the audio is five by five. I'm seeing some really glitchy video, Mr. Landfill. Can you verify that it is the, the, it's really flaky video right now for me? I'm running a test. I'm, I'm actually recording a video while we're on this live stream. I am streaming from the Clockwork U console to YouTube. And uh, Mr. Landfill can confirm that this is very, very choppy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some changes here see if we can get this a little less choppy. Yeah, Mr. Landfill says flaky, very flaky. Okay, we're gonna try it by plugging the camera directly into the Clockwork U console. I wanna get this USB hub out of the mix. So that means I'm gonna to to do everything on the U console keyboard, which is fine, I can, I can deal with that. So let's move everything away and reconfigure everything. Okay, we're going to restart the U console. Okay, I've set up a little different view here for you so that you can see what's going on. Okay, let's add that camera back in. Looks like the mic is already working, but let's add a camera and we'll call this cam. Okay, and we will choose the USB camera right here. That seems pretty good. I mean, it's, um, it's a little, well, it's a little flaky. Let's try motion JPEG. Got to got to find the right. That's not well. That's still a little herky, isn't it? But we're getting there. Hey, let's change the resolution. Let's get that resolution changed down to 720p. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, there's still there's still some herky jerky in there. Let's go ahead and get a better view on our camera here. All right, let's go live. Let's see what happens. We're going live, folks. Here we go. Okay, still got pretty solid audio and uh, video is not bad. So let me go ahead and. Let my peeps know I'm online again. So that should announce to the world that we are online again. Let's see if we get 
uh, any takers because everything seems like it's it's still not you know 60 frames per second but I do have some pretty good frames over here I'm, I'm guessing we're doing about 10 15 frames per second hey mr. landfill let me know looks like we're, we're a little bit better doesn't it I mean it's still herky jerky but what's your yeah round three exactly let me go guys does it seem a little bit better so this is the camera I'm looking I gotta remember you you guys are over here and I'm looking over here but it sure does seem like things are a lot better than they were previously and what I did for that to happen is I got rid of the USB hub I didn't have enough USB ports to plug in my USB keyboard and the camera because there's only one USB port on the Clockwork U console. So um, 12, yeah, that's kind of what I'm guessing, about 12 frames per second-ish. Um, but, but we did it. We were able to actually stream from the U console uh, let me show you guys what I have set up here. Now, this is going to get a little strange, but hang on. Let me show you what we're doing here. So we are streaming from this device right here, the Clockwork U console. Everything that you're seeing is coming from there in the camera I'm holding in my hand. Uh, the camera also has the microphones uh, right here, so my mic may be muffled a little bit, but it, it is. We, we're doing it, guys. We are streaming from the clockwork U console. That's pretty cool, and it's pretty stable. It hasn't locked up, uh, hasn't uh, given us that weird um, kind of torn video, so pretty cool. You can see my setup here as I'm trying to record, so I got this one recording this, I got cameras everywhere. I mean, it's it's going everywhere. I got the little Wimaxit over here. Somebody asked about the Wimaxit earlier. It's still, it's still in frame here. I will put the Logitech back on there because the Logitech has some smarts in it. This camera really doesn't. So this is real minimalist because we are only using the Clockwork U console and a camera, that's it. Okay, this is with the Logitech Brio and the frame rates seem a little bit better and it seems like the audio may be in sync a little bit more, but we've got this really weird glitching on the video, on the camera, and I had this before, even when it was going through the hub, but definitely the frame rates are better when you don't use a USB hub and when you plug in directly to the U console. So those are the tests, but there is one other test that I can run and it involves streaming not using OBS Studio. So we're gonna try that now. I am also going to plug back in the Brio, even though the Brio has given me some really weird results. And again, you can see the choppy nature of the Brio there, but we're going to go ahead and use it because I do want to try something. So we're going to go ahead and close this and I am going to close OBS Studio because you can also stream from YouTube Studio on the web. We're going to allow it to use our camera and our microphone. Let's make it public. Done. Okay, so we are going live. We, we do have the glitchy again, but uh, there we go. Now we are live using the web version there are no settings that i can make to change the resolution it's just doing whatever it can but it does seem like it is a lot better using the web browser than it has been with obs studio i think the last thing i want to try is this camera has been glitchy when i use this camera there was a lot less glitch uh, and that might be the last test i run so let's let's give that a shot i think it's glitchy because there's some kind of compatibility problem with the Brio to the Clockwork U console. I don't think there are any drivers or anything for that that could correct it. I might look at it, but it seems that all of this is dependent on the type of camera you are using more than anything else as far as the glitch. Now, again, I will tell you that the experience of streaming directly from the web interface is a lot better than using OBS, and that's probably because OBS has a pretty heavy overhead uh, on the CPU, but uh, it works. So let me run a few more tests here and we'll see how it's going. Okay, let's fire up another stream here with the cheap cam. Okay, and then we'll go live here. Now the frame rate on that is not bad. So it does look like, yeah, that's not bad at all. It does look like uh, we're still struggling to get uh, anything like 60 frames per second. We're probably doing about 15, 20. We might be at 24 here. It is blurry, but a lot of that could be this camera. 
So looks like we do have an answer to our question was, can you live stream from the Clockwork U console? And I think the answer to that is definitely yes. Can you stream using OBS? I think there's still too much overhead for OBS to do that on top of the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. Now, when we get the Compute Module 5, I think that might work. And I do know the Clockwork folks are hoping to have a Compute Module 5 when it's released available for this device. So when we can get that Compute Module 4 out of there, plug in the Compute Module 5, I think live streaming on the go via the Clockwork U console is something you will want to do. Now, if you're just looking for something fun to try, this is definitely a fun experiment for your U console. You definitely want to give that a shot. This is pretty kind of, this has been a blast to try, quite honestly. I did not know what to expect from the results. I'm still a little bummed that I couldn't get the Brio working because of this, the breaking and the striping of the screen, but I am pleased that we were able to get a decent solution for streaming using the Clockwork U console. It just goes to show you that the, these things get more powerful and more powerful. And now you can, from the palm of your hand, with just nothing but the U console and a camera, you can stream. So we could do something like this. And have a pretty cool little streaming device right there. Look at that. So I can hold this like this. And I've got a handheld streamer I could walk around the house with. That gives me some ideas. I, I, not, I have to admit, I've got some ideas. Now, of course, you could live stream from your phone uh, and get better results than this, but it is just cool that we're able to get a portable Raspberry Pi battery-powered live streaming in the palm of my hands. I think that's pretty cool. Hey, guys, do you think that's cool at all, or is that just me? So there you have it. There's OBS Studio sort of running on the Clockwork U console. Now, I know there's a lot of streamers out there who depend on OBS and have tweaked OBS beyond all recognition. If you have tips for how we might get better performance out of OBS Studio on this Clockwork U console, please leave a comment in the video description below. And if you're new to the Clockwork U console, be sure and check out this video right here that is my unboxing and my assembly of the Clockwork U console. There's also another wonderful device from a clockwork called the dev term and it is right here check out that video so thanks for watching retrocombs out